Welcome to the final part of my Canon Rock tutorial, number 8. This week we're going over the entire outro, finishing up the song. Let's go. This section actually starts out with uh, the violins or the strings starting off the chorus. So the end is essentially a chorus but with some few uh, changes thrown in. So the strings will hit the first part, the first measure, and the guitar will come right in at the second measure. So the first thing you're going to play is the 17th of the fret of the E string. Now it's going to be all 8th notes down to the 14th fret of the G string, to the 16th fret, 14, 15, 17 on the B. Now 14, 15 on the E. And you're going to land the next measure on a quarter note on the 14th fret of the E string. Now two eighth notes, 15, 17 on the B string. And you're going to hit another quarter note at the 14th fret of the E string. And now here's where it switches up a bit. You're going to go eighth notes, uh, 14, 15 uh, on the E string, 17 on the E. Slide up to 19, all, all on the E string. And you're going to go back down the scale, so 17, 15. And now here you're going to do quarter note triplets. Uh, 17th fret of the E string, 19th fret, 21, 21st fret. And then you're going to bend the 21st fret of the E string up a half step to sound like the D note at the 22nd fret. So what we have so far... And now you're going to actually hold that for about a half note plus an eighth note. And you're going to uh, release the bend and re-pick uh, re the 21st fret of the E string for a quarter note. Now you're going to hit an eighth note at the 19th fret of the E string. And you're going to land for a dotted quarter note at the 17th fret of the E string. So those two, those measures slowly are going to sound like this. And now here we got a little tapping thing. It goes over multiple strings, so it's not really Eddie Van Halen style, but it, you're gonna be you're going over a bunch of strings, or all almost all the strings. So all 16th notes, you're gonna go start on the E string, and it's the same pattern all the way down. We're gonna use just the classic minor pentatonic uh, shape, and with one note higher. So your your tapping finger is gonna be hitting 17th fret on the E, uh, 17th fret on the B, 16th fret on the G. Uh, 17th fret on the D and 17th fret on the E. So if you ever want to do any kind of pentatonic tapping stuff, those are the frets you're going to use. And so the way this one does it, all 16th notes, 14th fret on the E string, 17th fret on the 17th fret on the E string, and then a, the 19th fret on the E string, and you're going to pull off again. And so I'll back down those three notes. And so what the pattern is, you go, and then you're going to tap the 17th fret of the E string, pull off, hammer on to nowhere on the B string, and hit the 17th fret. And so that's where the, the pattern loops. You're going to go, now you're going to tap the 19th fret of the B string, and pull off 19, uh, 17, 14, tap the 17th fret, pull off. Hammer on to nowhere to the 16th fret of the G string, and it's going to loop again. And so I'm sure some of you are noticing the pattern right now. We're going to do that all the way down. You're going to, so you've hammered on to nowhere onto the 16th fret of the G string. Now you're going to tap the 18th fret, pull off to 16, pull off to 14, tap the 14th fret of the G string, pull off to the 14th fret, Hammer onto nowhere, onto the G string, um, 16th fret, tap the 17th fret, pull off to, to 16, pull off to 14, tap the 14th fret, pull off, hammer onto nowhere, onto the 16th fret of the A string, uh, tap the 17th fret of the A string, this is where it's going to change a little bit, 
pull off down to 16 and down to 14. Now you're gonna tap the 16th fret like you would, and then instead of hammering onto nowhere on the E string, we're gonna hammer onto that fret that we just tapped, the 16th fret, pull off to the 14th fret, and slide down for a half note on the uh, 12th fret of the A string. So at the end there, it's not it's not perfect 16th notes. I think there's a little triplet in there. But, you know, it's pretty much all notes the same speed, about the speed of 16th notes ending on that half note of the A string. So slowly, uh, that that those two measures are going to sound like this. Fast. And so you get a really cool like flurry of notes kind of sound. And so this, first, um, this is actually a really good exercise to learn uh, tapping across multiple strings and hammering onto nowhere. And if any of you guys are confused about what tapping onto nowhere means, it just means that you're hitting a note on a string, you're changing strings with a hammer on and not picking it. Maybe I'll, I'll put another tutorial um, another day on uh, string muting with both hands. So you don't have open strings ringing out while you're tapping, you know, changing strings. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the measure. And so I'll play the whole thing up until that spot right now, slowly. That's that's one of the hard parts of this this section, and it'll take a little bit of practice. But with um, you know, just a little bit of practice, I don't think it it should take you guys too long to learn this, especially if you already know how to tap. And the way I do it, I tap with my middle finger just so I don't have to change the way I'm holding the pick ever. I can play how I normally play, and I I can just keep and I can tap whenever I want because I use my middle finger. And I don't have to change the way I hold the pick at all. And continuing on, the next measure, gonna start the same as you know a chorus would, with a quarter note at the 17th fret of the E string, two eighth notes, 14, 15 on the E string, and then hit the 17th fret as a quarter note again, and you're gonna hit uh, 14, 15 on the E string again. So that measure, it's gonna sound the same as any other first measure of a chorus. So you've played this one plenty of times. And we're just playing it again now. But the next measure is where things get a little weird. I actually, those last two eighth notes, I play both with my my first finger and I slide up. And then the next measure, it's a, it, it's playing a, uh, it's kind of going off. It does like a little weird uh, chord substitution kind of deal. It does like a kind of an F sharp kind of feel kind of like leading tone into the next B chord, but that doesn't really matter. We're doing all triplets, and it's going to start with two two uh, picks, two notes, all eighth note triplets, two times at the 18th fret of the E string. Now you're going down. Now it's all pedal tones, so we're going to go down to 15th fret, back up to 18, 14th fret, back up to 18, 17th fret of the B string, back up to 18. 15th fret of the B string, back up to 18. And 14th fret, back up to 8 string. So, And now we're going to finish the next measure. We're going to end with a, with a dotted quarter note at the 21st fret of the E string. And, now we're, and then we're going to bend the... Uh, the uh, 20th fret of the E string up a whole step. So it's going to slowly, those that's going to sound like this. And we're going to hold that for a half note, and we're going to go over the bar line for another quarter note. 
And all eighth notes coming down a scale. We got 19th fret of the E string, 17th fret of the E string. Got a little bluesy kind of feel. 19, 18, 17, 15 on the B. And now we're going to move. The next measure is going to be uh, the 17th fret of the E string bent up a whole step to sound like the 19th fret. We're going to hit that. It's going to be a half note tied to a uh, an eighth note. And we're going to pick it again and release the bend uh, for a quarter note. You're going to hit an eighth note at the 15th fret of the E string to finish off the measure and land on a half note at the 14th fret of the E string. And so I'll play all of it up to that point because then we got another big run right, right there. And this time, instead of a you know a long tapping a tapping phrase, we got a long alternate alternate picked run, all alternate picked, all sixteenth notes. It's gonna start at the fifteenth fret of the E string. You can go fifteen. 17, 15, 14 on the E string. And we're and then the next four notes, I'm going to go in groups of four because it works out very nicely in groups of four. We're going to go seven, all on the B string. 17, 15, 14, 12. Now it's still on the B string. 14, 15, 14, 12. Now we're going down a string again to the G string. We're going 14, 12, 11, 9. And now, so then we're doing 11, 12, 11, 9 on the G string. Now three times we're going 12, 11, 9, 11 on the G string. or on the D string, excuse me. And then ending with a half note on the seventh fret of the D string. So I'll play that whole lick slowly now so you can hear it, or the, starting with the half note. Excuse me. So that one, since it's all sixteenth notes, all changes on beats, it's a it's you can you can work this out with a metronome, with really strict alternate picking. And so just work that one up with the metronome. Just like the other spots that are 16th notes, this one is actually pretty strict and on time. So it, it works, it lends itself really well to metronome practice. The outro until that point slowly is going to sound like this. From this point on in the song, everything is essentially the melody from the bridge, just, you know, in different sections, embellished a little bit, but it'll just, it'll be the same basic concept. And so right here, we're going to start after that last hold, hold note. We're going to go to a dotted half note at the 15th fret of the B string. And we're going to come up to the 17th fret of the E string with, on a quarter note. And we're going to pick it again to start the next measure. We're going to bend it up in time as quarter notes. Bend it up a whole step to sound like the 19th fret of the E string. And, and release the bend. 
And then for another quarter note, we're going to hit the 15th fret of the E string. And, and we're going to land as a on the 14th fret of the E string for a dotted half note. And we're going to pick that again to finish the measure. And we're going to start the next measure also with the 14th fret of the E string. And we're going to go up to the 15th fret for another quarter note. Now 8th note triplets, we're going to just do 14, 15, 14. And land a quarter note on the 17th fret of the B string. And then we're going down to the 15th fret of the B string. More quarter notes. 15, 14, 12, 14, 15. And that 15 is going to be a half note. And then for, to finish that measure off, we're going to trill. We're going to hit a half note at the 14th fret of the B string, but tr do a trill up to the 15th fret. So, and just trill however fast you can trill. And then we're going to hit a quarter note at the 15th fret of the B string again, down to 14, 12, 13, and then we're going to land for an eighth note on the 14th fret of the B string. Now 16th notes, we're gonna do a, a sweep picking pattern starting at the 17th fret of the E string. It's gonna be an A major starting at the 17th fret, pulling off to 12. Upstroke through 14th fret on the B, G, and D string. Hit upstroke on the 16th fret of the A string. And a downstroke for a half note at the 12th fret of the A string. So what we've done so far slowly is gonna sound like this. Now we're moving on. It's going to start the exact same way. Dotted dotted half note at the 15th fret of the B string. With a quarter note at the 17th fret of the E string. Re hit it again to start the next measure. And bend it up and back down a whole step in quarter notes. And then land on the 15th fret of the E string. So all that's the exact same. And around here's where it changes. You're gonna do a dotted quarter note at the 14th fret of the E string. And you're gonna do a dotted quarter note at the 17th fret of the E string. And then a quarter note, finish the measure off with a quarter note also on the 17th fret of the E string. And now for a whole note, we're gonna bend the 20th fret of the E string to sound like the 22nd fret, the D note. And now to finish when you, when the when you the measure is almost over, you're gonna want to release the bend, not not to not to sound like the twentieth fret, but just start releasing the bend. And, it, and you're gonna land on the the nineteenth uh, fret of the E string, and it, that's gonna be again for a dotted a dotted uh, half note. And then you're gonna finish the measure off with a quarter note at the 19th fret, of, or at the 21st fret of the E string. And you're gonna the next measure is going to be a quarter note, still on the 21st fret of the E string, but you're gonna bend up to sound like the 22nd. You release the bend without without picking for an eighth note back down to the 20, 21st fret and land for the rest of the measure on the 17th fret of the E string. And that's how we're going to finish it. So, so a quarter note at the uh, 17th, 8th, or 19th, excuse me, 19th fret of the E string, down to the pull off for it to an 8th note at the 17th fret of the E string, pick a, a, a quarter note, now we're, and then it's going to keep repeating that rhythm. So pull off for it to an 8th note at the 12th fret, 
or slide down at the uh, 15th fret of the E string, then pick a quarter note, slide down to an eighth note at the 14th fret of the E string, then pick a quarter note, slide down to the 12th fret of the E string for an eighth throat, and pick a quarter note, and then hit a quarter note at the 14th fret of the G string. Now we're on to the last few few sections of the song, and it's going to cut down to the same tempo as it was at the beginning of the song. It's going to be about 90 beats per minute. And you're going to have, and so you're going to come down from that 14th fret of the G string and slide down to the 7th fret of the G string. And you're going to have the same kind of melody, but at, it's like very bare bones. So dotted quarter note here at the 7th fret of the G string. And now an 8th note up here at the the uh, tenth fret of the B string, and so remember this is about half time, so it's the exact same melody from up here, but only it's down an octave, and so it's, and so from that tenth fret you're gonna pick it again, come up to the twelfth fret of the B string, back down to ten, back down to eight, and down to seven. All eighth notes. Down to a dotted quarter note at the seventh fret of the B string. Then an eighth note at the seventh. And another eighth note. Another eighth note at the eighth fret of the B string. Now a sixteenth note triplets. You'll do seven, eight, seven. And do another eighth note here at the ninth fret of the G string. So this whole melody is the exact same as it was up here, just down an octave. Now eighth notes, seven, all in the G string, seven, six, four, six, seven, which will be a half note. Now eighth notes again, seven, six, four, five, six. And now that six will be a quarter note. And you'll slide up to another quarter note at the 14th fret of the G string. So that section, I won't slow it down, but this is what it's going to sound like. And now you're doing the exact same melody up an octave. So it's going to be the exact same as what we played before, 15 on the B uh, to the 17th on the E, bend it up a whole step and back down, down to the 15th fret, then land on the 14th fret of the E string, pick it again, you come back down to the B string. This time you're going to hold out the 15th fret, no trill this time. going to come do the same 15 14 12 13 14 all on the B string hold that for a dotted quarter note now you're gonna do two 16th notes from the 15th fret to the 17th fret and land and hold the 15th fret of the B string and hold it for as long as you can. And that's going to finish off all of Canon Rock. The whole thing. I'll play that last section. What we learned today. All of it. I'll play it for you one more time.
thank you for watching my series on this. I really hope that all of you who watched this or all of you who got here can now play the whole song or, you know, you're on your way to learn the whole thing. And so I still have a few more videos, you know, regarding Canon Rock that I have planned that I want to make. But I really hope that watching this, you've got most of it down. I'm, I'm really hoping that you learned most of the song. And so thank you for watching. I've had, I have tabs down in the description. I have tabs in the description for all of my videos. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoy, you know, feel free to like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.